Thank you for watching BWTV. Um, we're at the Grand Canyon Baha'i Conference in Phoenix. My name is Niku and our guest for today is Ken. It is common to see that an um, artist has taken a picture and made a painting of it. It's not common to see that an um, artist to, uh, made a picture of the painting. Um, how do you accomplish that? Well, I uh, strive for perfection, as all Baha'i should. I was proud of myself when I took the photo of the painting of that Reza Samimi uh, painted. I found the original photo that Mr. Samimi used to make the photo, the painting. Uh, I took this photograph, I restored it, and I colorized it, and I contacted our National Spiritual Assembly. They go on to explain here in their letter that given the accuracy and the quality of your colorized reproduction of the original photograph on which Mr. Reza Samimi's paintings of the master is based, this reproduction may be treated as a photograph. As a faithfully rendered colorized photograph, distribution and sale is permissible. So I was humbled that my colorization of this black and white photo was uh, greeted with su in such a manner. And thus, I wanted to make it available to the friends. Um, can you tell us more about Abdullah's picture? Well, this, this photograph was taken in 1912 by the Schloss Schloss Photographic Studio. I, the copyright has long since passed. Since the copyright had passed and my work was approved, I call my work the Schloss slash Dzinski photograph. Because it is the Schloss photo, after all. It's the photograph of the master that's been colorized. Uh, what differences do you see uh, between the picture and the painting? Oh, there are... Uh, I could see the wisdom of what the Guardian said. He said because Photographs are a more perfect likeness. Here's a, a photograph of Samimi's painting, and here's the colorization of the photo that I did. And you can see that Reza Samimi added more wrinkles, has uh, the master had an episode of Ball's palsy in New York and his right eye drooped and his right lip drooped and that's not included in the painting but it's included in the photograph so this is an accurate rendering colorized colorization of the photograph that Schloss did what inspires you to take the photo well my my photos I try to strive for perfection but I, I'm a visual person and this is the only way I could teach. So I entered many of my other photos in professional competitions and have been blessed to win many awards. How did you become Baha'i? It was a time of great difficulty in my life and one morning I went down to the beach and I prayed very sincerely to God. And then I went home and I felt drawn back to the beach, to that spot where I was. I watched the sunrise and I got lost. And I wound up in front of the Baha'i House of Worship, but I knew. <laughs> I went inside, uh, and I knew. Thank you so much for your story. Oh, my pleasure.